Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be building this brand new Apocalypse Imperator. Now, when you look at this Apocalypse Imperator, all I can see is Mad Max's Interceptor. And um, you do have other versions of it on GTA, which is the Future Shock version, which looks terrible. And the Nightmare version, which just looks ridiculous. Um, so I am going to go for the Apocalypse Imperator in this video because like I said I am going to try and build Mad Max's Ford Falcon Interceptor and as you can see this vehicle is going to cost you 2.2 million dollars up front but it is pretty fucking sweet so without any further ado ladies and gentlemen we're going to get this purchase get it into my workshop and then see what customizations we can do so straight off the bat you can see this is very close to the interceptor I mean this is insane you got the, the exact same exhausts the even the the shape of the side windows the rear window is identical to the interceptor no joke the slope on the back of the car towards the tail is identical the front how it points the headlights the roof uh, yeah the hood scoop sorry not the roof scoop <laughs> the hood scoop is so close it is insane how close this is to the interceptor Fuck knows how Rockstar's got away with this one. No idea. The only thing that the Interceptor hasn't got is this spoiler at the back. It is crazy, crazy close. Anyway, we're going to start this build with race brakes. Then we're going to go to the boost. We are going to get the shunt boost. What, what even does it, what does that do? I don't know what the shunt boost does because I purchased it for the Dominator and it didn't seem to do anything. It didn't boost like what the bike does. And it costs like $500,000, man shunt boost i don't know what that is i'm going to purchase the boost upgrade 100 percent because i know that that kind of boosts your vehicle um kind of like nos because i bought it for the gargoyle when i done that build but then when i done the dominator build i purchased the shunt boost but then when i tested it out it didn't seem to do anything um i must have been pushing the wrong button but if anyone can let me know in the comments below what the shunt boost actually does would be much appreciated but anyway for now for this build because I know that boost upgrade 100% actually does something, I'm going to be purchasing that one. Then we're going to go to bodywork. And we've got the decorations. I don't think we need any of this crap. I mean, it'd be pretty cool if you just wanted to build a random Mad Max vehicle. But because I want to try and stay true to the Interceptor that he drives, uh, I ain't going to be using any of this crazy shit. So we're going to stay away from that. We've got the spikes as well. We are going to stay away from, even though that does look pretty insane uh then we've got the blades oh man i know he doesn't have blades on there but i kind of think we need them because if i ever use this in an arena war you're gonna want blades aren't you or should i i don't know i felt like other vehicles i could use i could always come and add them at a later date so no we're gonna try and stay as true to the mad max car as we can so we're gonna stay none for the blades uh, then we've got armor plating. Again, I don't think we're going to use any of this because he doesn't tend to have, you know, much plating on it, much armor at all. Um, again, like I said, if I wanted to make this into a crazy arena war vehicle, I could always come back at a later date and change them. So because of that, I th yeah, I'm, I'm just going to leave it as no armor plating because, like I said, we want to try and make this as close to the Mad Max Interceptor as possible. Then we've got a roll cage. I, th I believe he does have a roll cage in it. Um, so we are going to be purchasing a roll cage. We're going to go with... We're going to go with a bare metal roll cage. Then we're going to go to the engine. We're going to get the level 4 upgrade. The exhausts. Pretty sure we're not going to change these because the stock exhaust out is pretty much what we need. And there we go. It does remove them from the side, which we don't want. Whoa. <laughs> that... Uh, they are some jank looking exhausts. Same there as well. Holy crap. So we are going to stay stock for the exhausts. Then we're going to go to the grill. Um, stock grill. Oh, uh, just loads loads of shit on the front of your car. We don't need that. So we're going to stay stock for the grill. But a hood. Hopefully we can get the intake that we need. Um, yeah, I think the high improvised bug catcher is probably the close one the close one the closest one that we've got it's a shame that it's so clean though it'd be nicer if it was a little bit duller maybe a bit rusted but i think that's the closest 
option that we've got to the Mad Max car, so we're going to go with it. Since we could go to the headlights, we are going to purchase the Xeon headlights because I think any other color would look a bit odd. So we're going to skip a neon kit, definitely. Then we're going to go livery. And we kind of want it to be a little bit more toned down. Mm, don't think we're going to get a toned down one. So we might just have to stay just like clean black. Then it actually makes the, you know, the intake look a little bit nicer to be fair. Even though we do want a little bit of rust on it, but these are excessive and, you know, that's, that's taken it far too far. So we're going to go none. We're going to make it look clean. Um, I think that's probably the best option because, like I said, uh, the one from the movie does have spots of rust on it, but it's just around, you know, the lower part of the door and a little bit around the wheel arch. So when you go to this sort of thing you don't see no black it's taken it way too far um, so I think none is probably the best option so we're gonna go with that and then we do get to name the vehicle I am just gonna call it Mad Max so we do get the option to respray it we are gonna go primary color to start we're gonna go into the matte at the minute it is black um, so I think we can make that look a little bit better by going just gray because I think blacks really dark and um, grey still looks black, but not as black, <laughs> if that makes sense. It sounds so stupid, but I know what I mean. So we're going to go matte grey for the primary colour. And for the secondary colour, we're also going to go matte. I'm not really sure what this changes. There we go. It's just answered my question. It changes the rear bumper, the door handle, and the wing mirrors. So in that case, we are going to go matte grey once again. So next we've got the suspension. And the suspension in the movie, he kind of... It's lowered at the front, but it's really raised at the rear, and obviously we can't do that. And I think, I don't know, competition suspension actually looks quite good. Because it, it naturally sits low at the front and high at the rear, so that actually doesn't look too bad. I mean, maybe knock it up to sports suspension. That might be a little bit better. Yeah, we could go sports suspension uh, for the suspension. Then the transmission, we're going to get a race transmission, turbo tuning. And the vertical jump, we are going to purchase the vertical jump, obviously. Uh, then we've got the wheels. The wheels we've got are pretty close, to be fair. But I'm not sure if we can put the design on it. We can't. So we are going to have to change the wheels up. So we're going to go wheel type into the muscle, stay stock. And we need pretty much the same wheels again. But we need to purchase them because obviously we need um, custom tyres. They are very close. The drag SPL. How close are they to the ones that we're just... Yeah, they're pretty much the same fucking thing, aren't they? Drag SPL. They are very close. So we are going to go drag SPL for the rims, and obviously we're going to go into the wheel colour, change that to carbon black, and then the tyres. We're going to get the tyre design, and we are going to purchase the bulletproof tyres. And we're going to skip past the windows, and we'll go straight to the weapons. So we've got the RAM weapons. Wow, that looks nuts. I love these RAM weapons at the front, man. Holy crap! The Mega Blade! <laughs> that is nuts! Uh, we can change it to none as well. Um, but, because the one from the movies, it doesn't have that little crappy splitter at the, front, at the bottom there, at the front. Um, it kind of remo it's removed like it is when you've got a ram scoop like that. So I'm going to make use of a ram scoop, of a ram weapon whatever you want to call it um, because it removes that lower bumper like it is in the movies and I think we're going to go for like the reinforced scoop or maybe even the large scoop I think the reinforced one's probably the best option yeah I'm going to go with the reinforced scoop I think that looks the best and like I said it removes that lower bumper uh, like the one from the film so we're going to go reinforced ram scoop then we've got the primary weapon we We'll obviously go have to get the the amount of oh, I don't know though. Do we want to get the amount of machine guns? <laughs> we are gonna get the amount of machine guns. Why the hell not? I've got to have them, and uh, we're gonna get it clean. I know I started this build as a Mad Max build, but it's it's got to have it's got to have machine guns. So we've got proxy mines. We're gonna go with EMP because we get it for free. Then we've got the secondary weapons. Oh, hell yeah! Held to the year. I know it's not identical to the one that we have from the movie, but 
it has something very similar to that. And that looks really cool, man. Really cool. So we're going to grab that. And that is it for the weapons. So that is the Mad Max build. I hope you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> but while I'm here now, because I've put that scoop on and the min mini guns and that, this whatever this is at the back, I'm, I'm going to have to put some um, body armor on this. How, where is it? Where the bloody hell is this body armor? Body work, is it? Armor plating. We're going to have to get the armor plating now. So I hope you guys did enjoy that little bit of a Mad Max build. But I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to purchase all the all the body armor now. Heavy armor, there we go. Let's get that done. And what else am I going to change? Uh, livery. We're going to change the livery again. I know. Oh, I don't know. The liveries are actually really shit on this. It's a shame, really. I might just leave the the body paint clean. It actually looks all right. Then, then obviously if you leave the bodywork clean then it matches the intake and the exhausts and obviously the wheels being so clean as well so that works I think it works so let's exit the arena and see what it's like on the streets man hopefully it's not dark and it's not here we go that looks really good man it actually sounds really good as well and you can just drive under shit oh so good Yes, there we go, and then we've got the boost as well. Exactly like I said, it comes out of the exhausts. And we can jump it. Oh, I'm going to jump in a minute. Go away, LJT. Oh! That... F oh, crap. That flew. And we can jump. Yes! <laughs> oh, man, I love this update. It is insane. And it actually looks really good. You know, where we've got a bit of a contrast, where we've got a clean vehicle underneath all that rusted body armor. I think it actually looks really good. So I know it's not 100% a Mad Max Interceptor, but it works. It actually really works. This is my favourite one so far, I think, out of the Gargoyle and the Dominator. I'm actually um, picking... I'm not even going to call it an Imperator, because that's a stupid name. I'm going to call it the Interceptor. So like I said, guys, that is going to be the end of the video. hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA videos like this. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios. Thank you.